from a cramped room without electricity in a refugee camp to the global stage sharing the 2025 Nobel Prize in Chemistry. The story of the STEM immigrant is one of grit against impossible odds. But today, that path is being rewritten. We are investigating a massive overhaul in the American immigration landscape. We're breaking down the end of the random H-1B lottery in favor of a new weighted selection process, exposing critical USCIS policy shifts regarding fees and vetting, and analyzing how foreign-born talent is effectively keeping the US economy afloat. But as policies shift toward high wages and strict vetting, one critical question looms large. With the new weighted selection prioritizing the highest earners, is the American dream becoming a luxury or finally, a true meritocracy? Stay with us to find out. Before we expose the data, if you want to stay ahead of the curve on U.S. immigration policy and STEM opportunities, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. We are tracking these developments so you don't have to, and we want to hear from you. In the comment section below, Tell us, what is the single biggest hurdle you are currently facing in your immigration journey? Is it the visa lottery, finding a sponsor, or the uncertainty of the policies? Let's get the discussion started. The Nobel Blueprint. Our first dossier opens in Amman, Jordan. Picture a single cramped room housing a refugee family of 15, parents, 12 siblings, and cattle. This was the reality for Omar Yagi, born in 1965 to displaced parents with little formal education. Yet, amidst this struggle, a 10-year-old Yagi found a library book with simple stick and ball drawings of molecules. That spark of curiosity led him to America at age 15 on an F-1 visa. He arrived in Troy, New York, alone and speaking little English. While mopping floors and bagging groceries to fund his remedial classes, he was quietly building a foundation that would revolutionize science. Decades of relentless grit culminated in 2025, when Yagi shared the Nobel Prize in chemistry for his invention of reticular chemistry, creating materials that can literally pull water from desert air. His F-1 visa was not just paperwork, it was the bridge to a legacy that now holds over 60 U.S. patents. But for many of you watching, the path from student visa to permanent success feels like a maze. So, how does a student effectively transition from a temporary F1 status to becoming a permanent leader in their field? We brought this question to attorney Chris M. Ingram, and he answered, starting on F1, leverage post-completion OPT for practical experience, then pursue O1 for extraordinary ability based on research achievements, or H1B sponsored by academia. Strong evidence of impact accelerates pathways to green cards. Yagi's ascent proves that while the geography of your birth may set the scene, your intellect and strategy determine the outcome. From a refugee camp to the Nobel podium, the blueprint exists. Does Yagi's story of starting from zero resonate with your own experience? Let us know in the comments if you've had a pivotal moment that set you on your STEM path. If you are navigating these complex immigration hurdles, you don't have to do it alone. The right legal guidance can be the difference between a rejection and a breakthrough. Visit BreakthroughUSA.com right now to start your visa journey. You can book a free consultation with the law offices of Chris M. Ingram and get the clarity you need to move forward with confidence. The death of the random lottery. The era of pure luck is officially over. On December 23, 2025, the Department of Homeland Security finalized a game-changing rule, the weighted selection process for H-1B visas, effective for the fiscal year 2027 season, starting in March 2026. 
the government is replacing the random lottery with a system that explicitly prioritizes higher wage levels. The message is clear. Money talks and skills pay. Consider two software developers. Priya, a recent grad earning level one, wages of roughly $90,000, faces standard odds in the pool. Contrast that with Alex, a level four expert earning $150,000. Under this new regime, Alex doesn't just get a ticket. He receives up to four times more weighted entries, catapulting his petition to the front of the line. This shift incentivizes employers to pay for top-tier expertise, but it raises a critical question for every applicant. We asked attorney Chris M. Ingram how this weighted selection specifically impacts STEM professionals at different income brackets, and he commented, it favors higher paid, skilled roles by giving more entries to level three and four wages, reducing lottery randomness for experts while maintaining access at all levels. This encourages employers to offer competitive salaries in STEM fields like AI and engineering. This system rewards career progression and expertise, effectively forcing a market correction in STEM salaries. Does this new system make you rethink your current job title or salary negotiations? Tell us in the comments if you feel prepared to push for that level three or four designation. USCIS policy changes. While the lottery grabs headlines, the real danger often lies in the fine print. USCIS has rolled out a series of operational shifts that turn filing into a compliance minefield. First, the H-1B registration fee has jumped to $215 and electronic payments are now mandatory for many petitions. More critically, the 540-day automatic extension for employment authorization has ended, reverting to shorter windows that risk leaving you with a gap in employment eligibility. Let's look at the impact on two data scientists. Sarah, a PhD holder earning level one wages, faces enhanced scrutiny. She must navigate intense social media vetting to prove her digital footprint matches her application, risking processing delays. Meanwhile, Jordan, a level four analyst, breezes through. By utilizing the streamlined electronic payment systems and aligning his high wage role with the new priorities, he bypasses the administrative bottlenecks that trap others. It's a game of precision. But how do you ensure you fall into the approved category rather than the delayed one? We asked attorney Chris M. Ingram, what STEM professionals must know to ensure their petition survive this new scrutiny? And he advised, align your role with accurate occupational employment and wage statistics data, level one for entry, supervised work, level four for expert independence to maximize weighted selection odds. This ensures your petition reflects true skill level, improving chances in competitive STEM fields. Jordan's success wasn't magic, it was alignment. Misclassifying your wage level or missing a filing window is now a fatal error. Have you checked your own filing timelines lately to ensure you are ahead of these changes? Comment below. The economic engine. Beyond the personal struggle lies a massive economic truth. STEM immigrants are not just filling jobs. They are fueling the engine of American prosperity. Data indicates that shifting toward high-skilled workers could boost the U.S. GDP by nearly 4.6% over the coming decades. Foreign-born talent now fills critical gaps in AI and biotech, often founding the very startups that employ American workers. But for the individual innovator, waiting for an employer to sponsor a visa can feel like a handbrake on progress. This is where the National Interest Waiver, or NIW, changes the game. Take the case of Liam and Sophia. Liam, an entry-level researcher from Ireland, didn't wait for a sponsor. He self-petitioned under EB2NIW by proving his eco-friendly composites were vital to US environmental goals. Sophia, a top-tier expert from Mexico, used her patent portfolio to expedite her approval, allowing her to found a clean tech startup immediately. Both 
bypass the lengthy labor certification process entirely to drive innovation. We asked attorney Chris M. Ingram how the NIW pathway specifically empowers STEM economic impact, and he answered, it allows self-petitioning for those with advanced degrees whose work advances U.S. interests, like in clean energy, without labor certification. This fast-tracks green cards for innovators, directly contributing to economic growth in high-demand sectors. The NIW effectively removes the middleman for those whose work matters to the nation's future. How might your own innovations fit into this bigger economic picture? Tell us in the comments if you are working on a project that could qualify as a national interest. So, we return to our initial question. Is the American dream becoming a luxury or finally a true meritocracy? The evidence suggests a shift toward a demanding meritocracy. While the new weighted systems and higher fees create a steeper barrier to entry, they ultimately replace blind luck with recognized value. The system is evolving to reward those who, like Yagi, turn resilience into global impact. The door is open, but only for those who are strategic, skilled, and persistent. If you found this investigation helpful, please give this video a like and subscribe for more deep dives into the policies shaping your future. We will keep tracking these developments so you can focus on your innovation. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.